What's up, Pisces? I am sassy, sassy and sexy as fuck, and I am so sick of trying to deny it or diminish it. I just feel that way, and I needed to share that with you. Why? Because I feel like it has something to do with a little bit of your energy. That's all I want to let you know. Okay. Pisces, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome. Welcome back. Uh, please do click subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. This is your tarot portion. Of, no. This is your oracle card portion of your reading. So we do, I do an oracle card reading, full oracle card spread. Don't worry, I will flip the camera so that we can review the cards. Um, but I also extend this reading uh, with a full tarot card reading, in-depth full tarot spread, as well as a romance reading. That link is in the extended below. The link to that is right in the description box, just so you know. So this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Pisces, 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 wherever Pisces influences your natal chart, you can actually apply these energies for the next seven days because this is more Pisces energy than anything else. So if it doesn't fit, don't try to squeeze it. Maybe check out your rising sign. Maybe check out your Venus sign. Maybe check out your moon sign. Rising sign and Venus, uh, sorry, rising sign and moon sign actually tell us a lot more about ourselves a lot of the times than our sun sign. So just an FYI for you guys, okay? So what is the pipe? And here we have, oh shit. Damn, starting off the day in a good way, Pisces. Right at the top of the reading, you are starting off with yourself. This is my Piscean card. This is swimming around in the presence of your emotions and not asking, not apologizing for it. This is the energy of three plus six, which is adds up to nine. You're completing a cycle, and I think that cycle has something to do with um, a lack of acceptance of yourself or doubting yourself or self-doubt. You're finished with that. You're done. This is you swimming around in the the waters of your own waters. You're feeling good about yourself. You're accepting your emotions. You're owning who you are. Let people think I'm fragile. Let people think I'm um, like, like uh, fluctuating. Let people think whatever they want to think. It's not about thought. It's about what I feel. And what I feel right now is for real. And I am for real. And the world is going to know it. This sense of who you are being, coming through your emotions, being true to your emotions, sticking up for your emotions, sharing your emotions, showing your emotions. If people want to think I'm a, a, a batshit crazy, then they're going to think I'm batshit crazy. If people are afraid of what I feel, then there's no way they could be with me anyway. Because this is me. Hashtag this is me. This is me. This is who I am. If you can't handle emotions, you can't handle Pisces. Uh, so why don't you just go swim away? Uh, I'm just trying to say, like, you, you're for real. You're, you're for real. And you're, so, like, it's almost like you're not apologizing for what you feel anymore or trying to, you know, dumb down what you feel or dumb down your emotions for other people's convenience. You're, you're kind of tired of that. You're done with that. Ooh, tend to the little things. This is, look at this. This is, um, this is, um, the energy of stomping out something that was going to be a real irritation, of the little things that used to get to you, of little things that had been building up, little things that had gone unattended to. This is stamping those things out, almost drowning them. It's so like you're flooding them with your emotions. And whatever you thought was big and monstrous was actually a lot smaller than you uh, gave it credit for. It's almost like you were making a, a mountain out of a molehill. You know, and it's not because of your emotions. It's because you weren't being true to your emotions. You were putting somebody else's um, tendencies, viewpoint, or emotions before your own. And because of that, you were making it something much bigger than it was. It wasn't insurmountable. It was a little mouse, and you just called the exterminator. Now, this is a beautiful energy of turn your knowledge into wisdom. Howl at the moon. This is also a Piscean energy. It could be Cancerian energy. Something that's really driven by the moon. Something that's hidden. But there's almost like a wisdom in the dark. A wisdom in the hidden. You Now you know. Something has come out. Something has been revealed to be a lot less 
big that it hyped itself it hyped itself up to be something so big and it just revealed itself as being so freaking small and you are just seeing it in the dark and calling it out and you know what you're actually comfortable with it you're comfortable with how foolish this thing is now and you are just bristling bristling with your own sense of self bristling with your own i don't have time for this i don't have time to mourn this i have only time to start new, to go, to go forward. And you're a little bit stronger and you're a little bit thicker skinned and you wear that, that thick skin on the outside so that people know that you're not about to be fooled. Um, again, you are going into a certain, certain, certain circumstances. Cool. Oh, I'm sorry. This could oh, I have so many emotions right now. Maybe that's what you're feeling. You just want to explode on somebody. And I honestly feel like you should because honestly, it's like you're using your emotions as your defensive mechanism this week. You're just you're just spewing your emotions onto somebody so that you can like wash them away because they can't handle you, right? How many how many people can like can like um, how many people can really survive you when you flood them with your emotions? And it's a good thing, but it's because it's like you called them out on oh look at how big and bad you are, but you're not so big and bad that well, you can't you can't withstand somebody crying or you can't withstand somebody's feelings. If you can't withstand somebody's feelings, then what are you really? Exactly. I roll. I roll, please. Um, time for a beginner mind. You're starting to see things in a whole different way, but it's not just about a specific person or situation. It's about you. It's about seeing who you are and not apologizing for it anymore. About seeing uh, how you behave, not as a bad thing, but really realizing that it's it's your defense mechanism. It's 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 what you do when you actually start to feel like somebody is not treating you well, and you don't have to apologize for that. Coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. Something just changed in your life, Pisces, trust in it. Because this was a divine intervening in your life. Whatever didn't happen wasn't supposed to happen right now. This is Sagittarius energy. This is go with the flow. This is spontaneous fortune will arrive in places that you never even expected it to be. So just keep going with the flow. Just keep going. Like open up your mind, broaden your mind, expand your mind. Think of this as... A thousand different little thoughts that sit all around you and you have so many of those thousand little different thoughts you're being directed and guided toward that toward a new start toward not worrying about whatever was the old stuff that used to keep you down because the old stuff was minuscule it was bullshit it was it was a small small stuff that you were making into what was so much bigger than it really deserved it didn't deserve half the attention that you gave it like a moth to a flame. <sighs> You're being turned away from being a moth to a flame. That's this energy, this lovely, lovely energy. This is three plus nine, 12, three again. You have three and nine. There's a lot of really kismet energy here. Three, six, and nine over and over again. It's a magic number. It's a number of, of, of bringing something into being. It's a divine sequence at the foundation and, and the base of everything. You know what? Fly right into those flames. Fly right into those flames. I think that there's something magical that's going to happen when you do. Maybe the past needs to burn. You understand? This is like, let it crash and burn. Let it go. Let it crash and burn. This is also Sagittarius energy. Surrender now. Let it crash and burn. Don't try to save this. Don't try to rescue it. Don't try to buffer this fall. Just let it crash and let it burn. The fire will cleanse. Ooh, this card hasn't come out in forever. Now, this is you being tapped to be a divine leader, a divine guider. This is you being tapped to move the world forward. This is you being tapped with a tremendous amount of creative energy, but uh, no, divine inspiration. Like you're receiving messages all of a sudden. It's almost like this circumstance or situation in your life had to happen because the 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 inspiration that's going to start flooding you is going to be unprecedented. This is a special time. It's a, it's a game changer. It's a card that says your life is totally changing. Your perspective is totally changing. This is a new, it's like a dawning of a new you Pisces. And you're just going to let, you got to let it happen. You don't have a choice. If you try to not let this happen, you're going to hurt yourself, but sweet results await. And there you are again, showing up in your own reading. Sweet results await in the ebb and flow that is you. Um, watch and wait, sweet results await. So listen, 
this might take a little bit of time, Pisces, but you're going to find your way. And the way that you're being directed to is actually this divine way. It's a way that uh, you were supposed to be going. You know, thank God for this redirection. And this is a beautiful energy because this is something that you've worked for. It's not just dripping in honey, right? This is seven. This is the energy of creation. You've created the success that's coming to you. You've created the abundance and the happiness that's coming to you. You've created the happiness that's coming to you. You've created it. So this is you dripping in your own honey, honey, because you've created it. You, you are the essential component here. It's your hard work. So watch and wait. Oh my God, you are going to be so divinely inspired. I can't, I can't even tell you if you have been experiencing writer's block, if you've been experiencing some, any kind of block, you are going to, you are going to be led. You are going to find the person that leads you. You're going to be able to see the way through. You're going to be led. You'll find that path. I'm telling you right now, um, make your dreams real. Whatever you have been weaving and constructing is going to come to fruition. That's what those two cards together mean. Time for a deep dive. Have you been waiting for real love, true love? This is Libra energy. This is Venetian energy. This is sexy and sweet and loving. This is, this is romance. Romance is coming into your life. Do you understand that? And it's directly connected to your hard work and something that you are creating. So listen, focus, and I got this for so many signs, Focus, focus, focus on what you're building because you're going to be guided right directly there. You're going to be guided right to a romance. Romance is going to pop, start popping off. Watch your words and set healthy boundaries. Oh, okay. So, um, you need to uh, say what you need to say. That's what you do. You don't, you don't need to think about or worry about anything else. We have three, six, three, and nine energy. Once again, say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. This is an energy of just a verbal dump. You could be verbally dumping on somebody. That's what this energy is. But be sure that you do not become a parrot for what somebody else needs. That's where you're setting your boundaries. That's where you're not letting somebody cross those limits or you're not allowing yourself to be taken advantage of that way again. You're refusing to be the parrot for somebody else's emotions. You're setting boundaries and instead you're saying exactly what you need to say without worrying about what somebody else thinks about you. Pisces, whatever happened to set this fire under you, because there's a lot of fire energy that's happening these next seven days, but it, it was the best thing that could have happened to you because this is the kind of mode that you need to get into. Seriously. Um, the abundant universe will provide. Take a leap of faith. Your wings will grow on the way down, Pisces. Leap now. You'll fly. You'll learn how to fly as you fall. I'm serious. This is, this is the universe has your back. But these two cards, you're saying, there, it's literally saying the divine is about to intervene in your life and give you everything that you need. Don't worry. Take the leap of faith. That's what it's saying. This is Buffalo energy. This is Taurus energy. Once again, Venetian energy. It's like, do you want this love? Well, then get in, get yourself out there in the right direction. Go. Because not only is abundance coming into your life, not only are your dreams coming true, but Pisces, yes, that love is out there for you. Take this leap. You will have what you need. Everything will be provided for you. Your wings will grow on the way down. This is the message that you needed to hear. I'm so glad you heard it. Let me recap by turning the camera around. So many times in our life, we attach ourselves to old behavioral patterns just because. And this is a occurrence here that's happening that is breaking through an old behavioral pattern, a behavioral pattern that has never served you, but for some reason you haven't let go of just because it was this old relic that for some reason you depended on, maybe it gave you a sense of security. Bottom line, it needed to go so that you could grow. It needed to go so you could grow. And Pisces, that's exactly what's happening. You, as soon as this break happens, your wings are flying open and you're about to soar. It's like, it's like somebody was trying to hold you in the egg. 
when your wings were ready to go and you were ready to fly. It's like you were the one holding yourself in the egg. This is making a mountain out of a molehill energy and it came out and you realize that that's what you were doing. And maybe you feel like an idiot for it, but you don't care. Trust in this redirection because you literally have to fly forward, fly straight like a moth to a flame. Let it burn. Let it be destroyed. Let it crash and burn. Spirit wants it to crash and burn. You, and this is your card. This is your energy too. Both of your energies are showing up in your reading. This is that moment for you to say, yeah, let it crash and burn. It's, it needed to. Spirit made it crash and burn. Spirit made it crash and burn because your attention and your focus has to be elsewhere. Do not say what you think people want to hear. Set healthy boundaries for yourself and let it spew. And whatever else happens, Pisces, F it. Just can just, just leap. Take the leap of faith. It says it right here. Take a leap of faith. Luck is on your side for the next seven days. The abundant universe will provide. You don't know how you're going to get the money for something? Don't worry. Put the down payment down. It'll come. You don't know how you're going to be able to pull something off? Get it started. You'll figure it out later. You have to just go with the flow. Pisces, I know you want to know. So the full tarot card spread is going to come up. The link is below as well as your romance reading. We'll get into details for you, Pisces. See you over there.